Imagine a giant shark that lives in the icy depths of the Arctic, and nearly every adult you meet has tiny crustacean guests hanging off its eyeballs. That's the real, weird, and fascinating story of the Greenland shark and its ocular parasites. Most Greenland sharks host a tiny parasitic crustacean called Omatocoida elongata attached directly to their cornea, the clear front surface of the eye. These little copepods use specialized hooks to latch on and feed on the tissues and fluids of the shark's eye. Despite being only a few centimeters long, these parasites are so common that more than 90% of Greenland sharks observed in some regions have them. The impact is dramatic. The copepods damage the corneal surface and cause scarring, cloudiness, and lesions. As a result, the shark's vision can be blurred, severely impaired, or even completely lost in that eye. In many cases, both eyes can be affected if multiple parasites attach. In other words, many Greenland sharks are effectively partially blind because of their tiny Klingons. So how do these sharks survive and thrive? Even with poor eyesight? One, they rely on other senses. Greenland sharks use a powerful sense of smell and lines along their body that detect water movement. They can also sense electrical fields from prey, tools far more useful than sight in dark, deep waters, too. Vision isn't critical at depth. In the frigid, dark Arctic deep sea where light barely reaches, sharp eyesight isn't especially helpful for hunting anyway. Scientists once speculated that the parasite might provide some benefit, maybe even attracting prey, but no solid evidence supports that idea yet. Instead, it's largely seen as a one-sided parasitic arrangement where the copepod benefits while the shark's vision suffers.